Okay, so I just tried to record this and apparently it didn't record very well and uh, I can't figure out how to import anything from my photo booth camera situation to any of my other programs onto my computer because I am computer illiterate apparently. I thought I knew how to use a Mac, but apparently I don't. Um, but anyway, wanted to talk about a couple of things. Um, one, I got my car inspected and it took a long, 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 long time and I was very bored. Um, but it cost me less money than I thought, so I did a little bit of shopping. I kind of splurged a tiny bit. I bought a new e-cigarette and I got a couple of different flavors for like the liquid that you put in them. Um, but this one that I'm using right now is Honeysuckle and it's very cool and it kind of reminds me of my childhood. Uh, because when I was little I would like walk around with my best friend in the neighborhood and you would like find honeysuckle bushes and we would pick the flowers off and like bite off the backs and like suck in through the back of the flower and it kind of tastes like sweet and planty and a little honey-ish so it's nice. Um, another thing is that I went to Sephora and Matt Counter at Macy's in the mall to find a foundation and I um, I haven't been very happy with any foundations that I've gotten before because the foundations that I have are just too dark or they oxidize on my skin. They get like orange and yellowy when they sit for too long and I don't like it and I just don't like the way that they look. So I, I was looking for a new one and I tried out a couple at Sephora and I got a couple of little samples that the guy gave me of the ones that I really liked. So cause I wanted to like try out a full face and like see how it looks and see how it wears for a few hours. Um, but then I went to the matte counter and you know, had the girl who was at the matte counter put on some foundation on me uh, to see if I liked any of theirs. And the way she did it was very... First of all, she like just had this weird makeup brush. I've never seen anybody use one that was quite like that. And you know, I'm all for using different makeup brushes. Everybody has a different technique, but it was like a flat top paint brush almost. And it just, um, she just like wiped it up and down on my face. She didn't like, and she kind of went across too and like in diagonals, but it was, very weird. She kept on going across my lips and in my eyes and in my eye, like in my eyeball when it was open. And it was very uncomfortable and I did not like that. Uh, and then she showed me in the mirror and it was like blotchy and uneven and it, I don't know if you can tell, but like it's a little dark for like it's hard to match my neck because my neck is so white and like the rest of my body really is just so white compared to my face even that it's hard for me to find a foundation that's like a nice happy medium between the two because I don't want to go like super white on my face because I'll just look washed out and like pale and ghost-like but if I go too dark then it looks like I have a weird line separating my head from my neck because I'm not going to blend it all the way down onto my chest and onto my arms you know so kind of have to find something that's like in between the two colors. It's really hard. But yeah, so I'm just very confused by what she did in general. And I, please somebody tell me if this is like a normal thing for people to do. Because I, I've never seen anybody do makeup like that. I've watched a million tutorials online and I've, you know, watched, you know, growing up all the adults that I know who wear makeup. Like I watched them apply makeup and I've never seen anybody do it like that. So, yeah, just wanted to talk about that. It was weird. Um, yeah, bye-bye.